Hello, and welcome to Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. Um, in this particular episode, I'd like to talk a bit about asylum. Uh, there are a lot of people coming to the United States wanting to apply for asylum, and a lot of people don't know whether they can, they don't know what the grounds are. Um, I've even had some people say, well, I'm from this country, therefore I don't qualify. And that's not true. Okay, there used to be practically nobody applying for asylum from Mexico, and now a lot of people are applying from Mexico for asylum. So you have to look at what grounds exist in which to uh, do the asylum, and then from there it just is a matter of whether or not uh, you qualify or you don't qualify. And so uh, you know, I'm not going to go over, uh, obviously, the whole, you know, book of asylum and law of asylum here. Um, I do have lots of other videos on the subject, but uh, what I would like to do is just touch on some of the basic areas of asylum so that at least you know uh, whether or not you're able to go in and have a realistic chance. So, uh, basically, first of all, you have to look at persecution. Okay, and pers you know, if you haven't been persecuted in the past, that is not uh, a bar to asylum. Okay, because then if you haven't been persecuted in the past, you can look to see if you have a well founded fear of persecution in the future. Not that that's easy to prove, uh, but it is certainly doable. Okay, um, so that's the first thing. Now, uh, you have to look at who did the harm or who's going to do the harm? Is it the government? Is it a private citizen? Militias? Is it a family member? Uh, you know, so it depends on who the actor is who's doing the persecution. Not that, you know, anyone is uh, barred from you applying for asylum, but obviously if the government is the one persecuting you or some terrorist group, as opposed to, for example, your spouse, um, it's easier to prove uh, asylum because you do have to show that the government is unwilling or unable to control uh, the persecution, okay? And naturally, it's easier to show if there's a terrorist group with guns that they are less willing to control them than, for example, a spouse who commits domestic violence, okay? Not that that can't apply for asylum as well, but uh, it's just a matter of, of proof. So there are different kinds of asylum. I know that everybody refers to political asylum, but uh, there are different grounds which you can apply for in order to get asylum. For example, uh, you it could be race, you know, persecution based on race. You're in a tribe or an ethnic group. It could be religion, okay, um, conservative, liberal, apostate, you know, religious, you know, whatever it is. There's all kinds of religious groups, uh, possible uh, nationality. That's another ground to apply for asylum, such as ethnicity, national origin, okay, and obviously political opinion. Okay, for example, opposition to corruption, refusal to pay taxes to gang, coer gangs, coercive uh, population control, you know, there's all kinds of reasons. Um, and then uh, another ground is being in a social group. So just that social group is what uh, is persecuted, you know, such as, you know, it's defined as members, they share a common immutable characteristic, uh, and they are defined particularly with socially distinct uh, aspects within the area in question. So that's kind of ambiguous, isn't it? You're probably saying, what? What exactly is a social group? Well, let me just put it this way. When you're piling for asylum, you don't want to just apply under one ground. You can apply under several grounds. So you might be able to apply under the ground showing political opinion, and you might be able to also apply under being in a social group that's persecuted either way. So <clears throat> you have to look at the motive of the bad guy, okay, and that being again the individual, the uh, group, the government, whatever it is, look at the motive to determine and to help show why it falls under one of these characteristics. You know, for example, uh, 